Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this session, we will discuss exercise 7.7 .7, uh, from uh, uh, graphical uh, or straight line representations and uh, for uh, O level and IGCSE level students. And uh, for this uh, session, uh, we will uh, uh, show some uh, graph representation, some uh, graph representations. Uh, Represented values are uh, shown as x and y, uh, 0.5 to 2.5, and the corresponding x y value. And uh, we have to complete this uh, x and y in terms of x and x y. So we have to complete this uh, uh, table. We have to write all these x values here, and then uh, corresponding these multiplications appears here. And we have to draw the graph of x, y against y and express y in terms of x in the latter part and the d part to find the value of x and the value of y for which x, y is equal to 2. So this is, uh, let's solve for this question number 1. This is x and y and uh, this part is x and y. So we multiply this and get 6.5, multiply it gets 0 0.3, 3.0, 3.67 uh, uh, multiplied by 1.5 gives 5.5 .5, and 4 multiplied by 2.8 and 4 multiplied by 2.5, 4.2 multiplied by 2.5 is 10.5. So we will plot this value. This is x and this is x, y. So we will plot this at uh, uh, 1 we have this uh, value 0.5 and uh, at 3 we have different values so, so we have plot this uh, value here so uh, the slope is uh, for this graph is a 10.5 this is 10.5 and this is 0.5 so 10.5 and 0.5 and this is 2.5 and 0.5 for x value. This is x y value, this is x value. So the slope or gradient is given as 5. So the gradient of this graph is 5 and x y is equal to minus 0 0.5 and m x minus 0 0.5. So this is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. So that's why these two values, this is this is x1 here, uh, here and this is y1. Uh, I, I mean x y here this value this passing through these two points so that's why <coughs> this is a graphical representation or uh, equations slope equations line equation is represented as this so this is x y 0.5 and this m is slope is or gradient is given as 5 so in place of m you write m 5 so now simplify this and this is 5x, this is 2.5 and now this is 5x and this is 2, this is 0.5, we'll change shift here and make it uh, 2.5 to 2.0. Now uh, we divide uh, this equation by x, so this x will be cancelled with this x and this in the denominator we have this x. So this is y represented in terms of uh, x. This is part uh, b or c. Let's solve this for x y is equal to 2. We have to find uh, x and y. So this is x y is equal to 2. So this is 2. So for this 2 we have this x is equal to 0. 0.8. For x y is equal to 2 x is obtained as 0.8 by substituting the value here so so x y is equal to 2 so y is equal to 2 upon 0.8 that is 2.5 so this that's all from question number one let's uh, go back to question number uh, four uh, the mass m grams of radioactive substance is given by the formula m is equal to m naught e power minus kt where t is the time in days after the mass was first recorded and m naught and after the mass was first recorded and m naught and k are constants so this m naught 
and k are constant values the table below shows experimental values of t and m so this is t and this is m so we have to draw the graph of l and m l and m and against this t so so we will use this formula m is equal to m naught e power minus k t so by using this we will draw this graph use your graph to estimate the value of m naught and k so by the, from the graph we will estimate this m naught and k and estimate the value of m when t is equal to 27 so let's go back to question number four so this is question number four m is equal to m naught e power minus k t so this is t and this is m this is given this this information is given 10 20 30 40 50 and the corresponding m value is this from this equation if we take ln on this side ln on this side so this becomes ln m naught and ln this this part so this ln cancel with this e so it becomes minus kt so ln m is equal to l m naught minus kt so this minus kt is represented here so this can be it's assumed as a line equation this is y this is uh, mx and this is c intercept so <coughs> t is equal to uh, given as uh, this information t and m and in this way we can uh, uh, take the lm log of all these uh, uh, values so and fill it here so this is log values of this uh, numbers so we have taken the ln of this 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 and place it here and from this ln we can find this ln value this point and this value. so this is uh, y2 this is y1 this is x2 this is x1 so this is the gradient equation and from this gradient we have obtained k is equal to uh, minus 0 0.02 so minus k so th therefore k is equal to 0 0.02 so this 0 0.02 we can write here in this equations so we have already know this y1 and uh, x1 so this we will place these two values and use this k value so this is k value and this is x1 and this is y1 which is uh, in our case is 3.711 this one so from this we simplify it uh, multiply this and this multiply with this and this will appear here shifted to this right side and this ln m is equal to 0 0.02 t plus 3.911 on adding this we get this and at t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 so this will be 0 and this is 3.911 so this is lm naught m is equal to m naught at t is equal to 0 m is equal to m naught so m naught is equal to m naught e power 3.9110 so m naught is obtained as 50 and from this 50 we can obtain or we have already obtained k is equal to 0 0.02 and m naught is equal to 50 so the two values have already obtained and now we have to obtain the value of m at t is equal to 27 so for t is equal to 27 in this mm -hmm. equation we have we can find l and m and from that we can obtain m value so we have placed this 27 so l m m l and m is equal to this value 3.37 and take the exponentials on both side and by taking exponential here exponential here this will cancel so m is equal to 3 e power 3.3711 so it's uh, on taking values through the calculator we obtain m is equal to 29.11 at t is equal to 27 so this was the required value and now for number four completed now I'll go back to question number uh, seven so question number seven uh, 
we have given this x is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 and y value is 4.9, 13.3, 36.2 .2 .2 and 98.3, 267.1. The table shows experimental values of variable x and y. Experimental values. These are all experimental values. The variables are not to be related to the equation y is equal to a into e power n x where a and n this a and n are constant values draw the graph of l and y so we have to draw the graph of l and y against this x so use this graph to estimate the value of a and n so this a and n has to estimate from this uh, problem so let's solve this uh, question number seven this is two four six eight and this y is given as 4.9, 13.3, 36.2, 98.3 and 267.1 and uh, the equation between this uh, two is um, a into e power nx so we take the ln on both sides so it becomes ln a ln y is equal to ln a plus n times n times x ln e so ln e is 1 so this is nx simple now this uh, we can take the ln y here so ln of all these uh, values is here and from this we can draw this two graph of x and ln y ln y on this side and this is x value so this is x value and this is ln value ln y and from this we have a straight line it means this uh, equation is this is a straight line so the relationship between x and l and y is a straight line so gradient is obtained as this so from this subtract this and from this subtract this so this is in the denominator this is in the numerator so this is 5.5876 minus 1.589 divided by 10 minus 2 so the value of m is obtained as 0.5 so we will place in this equation this value is uh, x minus 2 this is 2 this is y value so it is here 1.589 ln y so ln y this value may be shifted on here and uh, this is multiplied to get this value and now by simplification we have ln y is equal to 0.5 x plus 0.589 and taking ln on both sides on this taking ln on this side we get y is equal to here and e power this and plus this and uh, e power of this is known as 1.8 and this is e power 0.5 x so this is a value and this is n value so a value mm -hmm. is 1.8 and this n value is 1.5 this was the required information uh, this was required so let's uh, go back to problem page uh, let's solve uh, question hmm, 11 this is x y is given as 2 5 15 25 and 60 the table shows experimental values of the variable x and y draw the graph of ln y and ln x take the ln of this and ln of this and express y in terms of x an alternate method for obtaining the relationship between x and y is to plot uh, log y on the vertical axis and log x on the horizontal axis without drawing a second graph find the gradient and intercept on the vertical axis of this graph so we are just doing the first part here so uh, this is uh, uh, x and this is y so y uh, this information is available so y is equal to a upon x plus b so this is part 11 so i'm just looking for the question number uh, 11 sorry so this is x and y are given so 2 5 15 25 and 60 and y is 11.5 5.54 2.5 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.54 5.
2.30, 1 1.5 and 0.76. Uh, we have to take the ln of these values. So this is here and ln values, ln of these values. So we have, this is all here. And now we have to plot this and we have plot it here ln x and ln y. We have seen that this is a straight line. So this follows a, a linear equation. So the gradient is obtained as uh, this. This is 2.44 minus this and 0.693 minus this. And from this uh, we have this gradient minus 0 0.7981 point, and that is uh, equivalent to minus sub 0.8 so it is assumed as 0 0.8 and uh, let's uh, ln y minus uh, 0 0.11 this is considered as 0.2744 and this value is considered as x y y1 so this is x1 and this is y1 <coughs> So this becomes plus 0.2744 and this is 0.8 ln x and this plus minus minus plus and this is multiplied with this 0.8 it gives 3.275 and uh, let's this shift it to the right side and then this becomes 3. So ln y is equal to 0.8 ln x plus 3. And we are uh, this point x may be shifted here on this power. So this is ln is equal to three. So y is there. So this is ln point. Uh, we take the uh, e power this. So by taking the exponential on both sides, this becomes y and this becomes e power ln x.8 and this is a cancel out and this is e power 3 so this e power 3 multiply by e power ln x minus 0.8 this is uh, basically cancel out. this is reciprocal so x is in terms of power 0.8 and uh, e power 3 so this is uh, intercept and gradient is obtained as 0.8 intercept is basically the 3 so this is uh, all from uh, question uh, or exercise 7.7 .7. and in the next session we will cover um, 7.8 that is an exam